Everybody does it, and sometimes that can be a problem. This is the Urban Sentinel, and let's get into it. Inside this 20 gallon tub is a solution to a problem that not a lot of people often think about, and sometimes it may be a bit too late when you realize it. Here's a quick situation. Power's gone out. At least initially, that's what you think. And not a big deal, it's gone out before, so it'll come back on 20 minutes, 30 minutes, maybe an hour or so. But you're not getting any notifications and nothing else seems to be working. Hours go by, a day goes by. You also notice that your water has stopped running. Why? Because the pumps throughout your city or your town rely on electricity to maintain a certain level of water pressure, keeping everything flowing, plain and simple. And you've got to use the bathroom and you did your one business earlier and you got a good solid flush and now there's no more water coming back into the toilet. You need to be able to make an emergency toilet just for these occasions. Now in this tub marked Christmas tree, which you don't have to mark Christmas tree. It's just what it is, are several items that you can utilize. What I've got here and I'll break it down one by one. Toilet paper, that's an obvious reason why. Baby wipes, just in case you either run out of toilet paper. Hand sanitizer, because again, sanitation is key. A small container to act as a scoop. Why? You'll need it to scoop the cat litter. A plastic garbage can bag, uh, probably 15 gallons, one of those kitchen ones. This one is lavender scented. And of course, a five gallon bucket, which let's do this. That is a good motto for this project. I almost forgot a piece of pipe insulative foam. You can find that in most hardware stores in the plumbing or in the insulation section. So combining all of these things, as you probably figured out, we're making an emergency toilet. So you've got your five gallon bucket. You put your garbage bag in. Now you may think, well, one, they make those uh, porta toilet bags, and they do. And the price can range anywhere from you know, 15 bucks for a pack of 20 or more, depending upon who the brand manufacturer is. But garbage bags, you most likely have in your house anyway. And the reason why I use the garbage bag is simply put, it's available. It's a large enough size to fit all the way down into the bottom of this five gallon bucket and still leave a little room around it. The styrofoam usually comes in a pack of two or three, depending upon the brand. And this one, there are some that have a seamed end or a seamed uh, portion on it. This I just simply cut off and shortened it just a little bit. Ended up being about an inch and a half too short. And you just fit it around. Yeah, if I had paid more attention in math class, I would have gotten the exact length for the circumference and I wouldn't have this gap and it would have fit a little bit better. But nonetheless, it's on here. So now you've got your basic rimmed seat, cushion to sit on, your business in here. Now it is suggested that if you are going to use a bucket potty, if possible, have two five gallon buckets. One for number one and the number two for number two for the simple reason is the number one bucket you can actually pour out and dispense that elsewhere versus the number two, you're going to be accumulating that to a certain point and then you're gonna be bagging it up. Now for this video and this purpose and this 20 gallon tub, reasonably speaking, it only fits this one. Now, some of the advantages and the reason why I suggest getting a tub, I'll show you. Now you may notice that the bucket didn't have the matching lid or a lid similar to this. The reason why, simply put, you won't need it for this setup. That being said, when the bag is empty and there's nothing in it, there's no waste, no spillage, no need to worry about it. What you're going to be doing is taking the cat litter and you'd pour in around the sides around the back, probably down to a depth of about maybe two, three inches. 
You don't necessarily, for this particular one, it's a 20 pound container. You don't need to pour the entire 20 pounds in there. You know, just, you're looking at about a two inch depth worth of the cat litter. That's going to help keep the bucket relatively stable inside the tub. Because what you'll be able to do is one, it provides you the seat that you're actually going to use, but also a stable foundation platform because the last thing you want is it to be four o'clock in the morning, you're tired and exhausted because you're pulling 18 hour security shifts effectively by yourself to go and use the bathroom, sit down, lose your balance and you and everything that you just wasted literally spilling out all over to the floor inside your shelter or your encampment, wherever it is. You don't want that. So having it seating down, the bucket is about an inch and a half lower than the rim. So you can still sit, you're not sinking into it. You got yourself a little handhold just in case things get rough. And with the cat litter inside, it prevents that little bit of wiggle and movement because it effectively forms a foundation ring around the bucket, keeping it stable, keeping it inside. And of course, the other advantage is when this is empty, you close the lid up, keeps everything that you want to put in there, meaning the toiletry items, all nice and safe until you're ready to use it. Now, as far as scent control, the cat litter is scented, the bag has a scent. You have to make your own judgment on how often you plan on using it and sealing it up because that's the other thing that you can do with that being in the plastic bag. As you've done your business, you put that lid on, close it up, that's effectively your toilet lid cover. And then you take it off, when you got to go again until it reaches the point where you now need to dump the plastic bag, in which case pop off the foam, cinch up the bag, bring the bucket itself out to wherever it is you're going to dump it. So you reduce the risk of, for whatever reason, the bag catching, snagging, ripping, whatever it is. Now, I'm not saying, you know, you wait until you're filled up to here because that's kind of nasty, but a reasonable amount because again you don't want to go through bags every single day you should be able to utilize it with the cat litter that's available scooping just a little bit pouring it in to help mitigate the scent and disperse the aroma so it's a little bit more bearable and by keeping the lid on it when it's not in use also helps with that and as you can see here everything pretty much packs up put the lid down and that's done now as far as transportation goes I mean if you have a vehicle and you're able to drive and you're basically caravanning it being mobile and you've got the space for this setup then you could tuck that into the back of the trunk or wherever it is out of the way maybe even get uh, one or two bungee cords to go underneath the hook part of the handle on the tub to go across the actual lid to make sure that it stays down, stays secure, and this way there's no accidents. But again, if you're transporting it, all the waste should be out, and that bucket should just have the bags that you have, the spare bags in there, and even if you put the cat litter into the base of the tub, you haven't filled it up, like I said. It's a 20-gallon container. You only need about two inches worth to really help keep the bucket stable and you may even want to put two inches in the bucket itself before you put the bag in to aid in keeping it you know from sliding and moving around but basically keeping the tub upright and relatively level as you drive about here and there you shouldn't have a problem and then you've got everything that you need the toilet paper sanitary wipes the hand sanitizer all that stuff to maintain a certain level of comfort and dignity as you go about and if you're keeping it in one location in your bug in shelter wherever it is and if it's not in a bathroom it's some alternate location you designate a corner and you find a spot you put it there the only thing you have to really consider about is what do you do with the bags if you're in a situation where you can't leave your shelter or your location because of a high environmental risk or a high physical risk then that's a case where you have to start looking at you know, a closet someplace or finding some other container to literally store all your waste in when it's inside the bags. And again, 
that's the advantage to using two buckets is if you have liquid waste, you can pour it down the drain of your toilet. Even though you may not have water coming in, that effectively will still build up in the pole, in the bowl, but you can still flush that. So that will still be drawn out as long as there's a, a negative pressure through the pipes. There's nothing pushing any air back up through the water pipes to resist that. It'll still flow out. You really can't risk that with solid waste because even if you utilize water to fill the tank and flush it, it may not get all the way down and you may start having a backup three, four feet into your pipes that will start coming up very quickly before you realize it. So there you have it, folks. Poop in a tub. Best Christmas gift you could ever give somebody. And I'll catch you in the next one.